Good morning, guys. Welcome to Trade Confident. Um, you guys ready to jump into some Dogecoin um, news and some metrics here? We saw a very nice pump on the charts here. Yesterday, I was coming out with a Bitcoin video that I was calling this jump. I was expecting this to start jumping very fast. Um, I was surprised to actually see a lot of YouTube tubers in the last few days actually um, calling a crash in the market. Um, I'm not going to mention specific names because that's not the point. I'm not here to like uh, roast people or anything like that. But it's really interesting how we were looking at the psychology of a market cycle, which we're going to look at again today a little bit. And this, I believe, is the third wave. Now, obviously, we're on Dogecoin. But yesterday, um, if you guys were able to follow the indicator down here for the trend exhaustion, you saw we're down into the bottom red. Anybody who purchased purchased anywhere down when we got to the bottom red section, you guys made money on this, like clearly. I actually ended up buying in Dogecoin yesterday at 16 cents. I made this comment on yesterday's video. If you guys are subscribed to the channel, I said I am going to be looking to move my buy limits up, possibly getting into some market orders. And that's actually what I did. So I want to show this to you guys, keep it all transparent on this channel. I ended up coming in yesterday and I ended up buying Dogecoin at 16 cents. So about 16.5, 16.42 exactly. And then I ended up buying 88 dollar four. So just to show you guys what I'm doing, because obviously I have money on the line here. So 16 cents and then a um, dollar four for um, ADA. So if you guys look at 16 cents, obviously I was able to get in literally right at the bottom here. Guys, I'm following the metrics. Honestly, like if you're like, how did you do that? I'm following the metrics over here. This is how I'm literally practically making money in the market. I ended up putting in about, I think a thousand dollars or somewhere close to a thousand dollars yesterday um, for Doge. Yeah, it's about, yeah, $1,200, basically $1,300. And I think we're up about uh, from 16%, about 20, 20, 20% at a high here. Um, yeah, close to 20%. So I don't know. I made like 200 and I don't know, $220, $220, we'll call it, um, in the last 24 hours. So those of you guys who are following this channel, you know, obviously you guys made your membership back for, you know, the tradeconfident.io with the metrics. This is what I used. It's 50 bucks a month. I highly recommend you guys get this into your, um, arsenal of trading. It probably is the best $50 you will ever spend on your crypto trading. Here's how we're just making straight profit on this. Okay. Let's go over this Dogecoin. I want to start over here with a psychology of a market cycle and talk about how high we might go up before we see a crash. This is very important. You guys watch this because you are in two categories right now watching this video. You either watched the videos I did yesterday, you heeded the advice, you saw the metrics, and you bought in. And like me, your guys are currently sitting up about 16 to me, you know, maybe 18% up here at the moment. But what we need to watch for is when are we going to drop? So I want to give you guys a couple targets today that you can watch. I'm not going to get emotional about this. We're going to use strict metrics and um, money flow to end up telling us what's going on here. Now, the first one I want you guys to pay attention to is actually this descending resistance right here. We have held true here. So basically one, two, three, four times when we've hit this, we've dropped back down. And we are also already seeing right now a little bit of resistance with a candle wick pullback on this certain candle. We broke it and we pulled back. Now, this is the first place. So it's literally sitting at 20 cents where we could start seeing a move back down and we're experiencing that right now. Let me give you another target if you guys are looking to sell because I'm looking to sell out of this position. I'm not gonna hold this for a really long, long time. I'm looking to sell out. Now, follow me on here. If you guys visually watch this on the chart, we're gonna go over and I'm going to show you what, what stage I personally believe we're in for the psychology of a market cycle on Dogecoin. This is something you, you need to watch this, okay? Visually watch. We see a high, we see the low, and then we see the first, and then the, the first, the second, the third bounce, okay? So the first bounce, the second bounce, the third bounce. If you come to the psychology of a market cycle, we can see this happens a lot of times. The first bounce, the second bounce, the third bounce. Could we be over here for Dogecoin expecting to see a pump up and this thing starts rallying very, very fast? Possibly. But I think this chart actually is a little bit more accurate where we see a pump down. We see the first jump, the second jump, and the third jump. I believe we are about right here for Dogecoin where we could start moving up. So what you need to do if structures hold true here and we look at previous structure high, this is pushed just above 50% of the previous structure high high on the chart. Okay. Follow me back over here. If we go over here, the previous structure high sits right at 28 cents. So I'm not going to give a crazy estimate in here. Like we're going to a dollar today. Let's get really realistic about this and something that we can actually rely on. If we look for basically a 50 to basically a 60% retracement here, I would say between 23 cents. Look over here to the right side. Okay, guys. Um, it, 
23 cents, or maybe if we push up, push up to another structure high, we could see 25 cents. So 23 cents to 25 cents is where I'm going to be looking to get out based off psychology of a market cycle. All right. Now also follow this and I'm going to go over to the metrics. The trend exhaustion is getting very high up here to the uh, upper red section. Obviously we have more room to go up like we did over here before we started crashing back down. So I am taking this into consideration. Remember this, making money like this 18% in 24 hours, like everyone who did this, you guys just like myself and you, we just made 100% more than the S&P 500 dishes out in a year. We did this in 24 hours. Like literally, if you, like from candle to candle, it's about an hour and like, it's an hour, a day and a half. We'll call it a day and a half. Basically a day and a half, we ended up making about 20%. Awesome. Well, don't get too greedy in here and maybe look to take some profit because here's the reason why. You can always get in and reinvest on the dip or you can sell and you can wait for a small little dip and buy back in. So I will be going over a really good trade you guys can take today. So two camps, we're going to keep talking about the exit points here and then I'm going to show you guys how you can get back into this trade if you feel like you missed out and the best entries. So this video is very important if you guys want to see that. Let's go over the metrics. Okay, these are going to update at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, which is 5.55 right now, so pretty much exactly two hours. 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Standard time, 11 a.m. Eastern time. Okay. The emotional index has held true so many times. Guys, get these metrics in your arsenal. I'm telling you. So last time we ended up getting down to the fearful section here, we saw a nice pump in the market. We saw a pump in the market here when people were anxious. And we also saw this pump happen after that. And then we saw it over here. Obviously, this doesn't look like a lot, but this was actually a decent size move up here when the market was that low. So when I'm seeing a lot of retail traders get fearful and anxious, which was showing us this move down here, this is where I was getting very excited myself. I knew the whales and the institutions were looking to buy this. I'm going to prove it to you off metrics. I proved it to you guys yesterday on the Bitcoin video. That is why I bought, um, I ended up buying Doge and then ended up buying ADA yesterday. And then obviously we're sitting up today. Let's go here a little bit more. Long for short trades on Doge is looking very good, guys. Take a look at this. We obviously hit a high over here. This is the highest we've seen for long and short trades on Bitfinex. The highest. Do you guys see this down here? If you guys scroll in, in here, it says Doge Longs Bitfinex. Bitfinex is one of the greatest exchanges to, to do uh, long and short trades on, okay? Bitfinex is showing an incredible amount of long trades entering back into the market. And then I'm going to go over news. I'm sorry I didn't say this in the beginning. I am going to go over news today that's really quirky, but I, I'm guarantee you guys it's putting, it, it is getting out to the masses and you're going to hear about this a lot. So long trades increasing, short trades are increasing just a little bit as well because people are looking for profit. But make sure you watch this metric here in two hours to see what this does. If in the next two hours I come out here and I'm going to watch this myself, if long trades drop out here when this metric updates at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time and short trades increase, I am going to be looking to take a portion of this and exiting the market because that could give me a really strong sign we're going to start heading back down. So there's another key you guys can watch for an exit. Let's go over this. Long and short trade risk. Are you taking long trades or short trades? It is very smart to be looking for long trades when we're down into this green section. So I know a lot of you guys are scared and some of you guys in here are like shorting. You're like, oh no, we're going to keep going down. Like there were some YouTubers I was watching yesterday, not going to name names, that were like calling a massive drop continually on Bitcoin. Like it wasn't going to head up. And I was actually very surprised. I'm like, guys, the metrics actually point to a lot of the moves up. We even showed a, a, the live um, crypto quant um, charting that actually showed the biggest well volume buys in the last 24, 48 hours within the entire year. Like it's going to go up. <laughs> all right. Well, in institutional smart money, like, hello, they're buying all the way down this thing. And then I also showed you guys in yesterday's video. Like if you guys go back and watch the Bitcoin video yesterday, I said it was like the best video of the week. Like watch that. It's super important. I'm using all of these metrics here. And I showed you guys how this metric right here is better than the crypto quant metrics. And honestly, you guys have to, I'm not just turning in the sales, but you guys have to pay $800 a year to access all the metrics for crypto quant. It's 800. 799 49 bucks guys and you guys can get incredible metrics on your side and this is exactly what i used to end up making 20 percent in the last you know day and a half here okay not turning into a sales video i just want to give you guys full transparency of what this looks like okay i am looking for dogecoin metrics on here for the well institutional smart money i'm actually looking for this to start dropping down into short trades because i believe that the whales are going to start switching positions to short trades very soon so like mark these words guys you are going to see this starting to move down into the short trades if we start heading up clearly all right last time we did that we saw a drop last time we got into short trades we saw a drop so i am also watching this metric to tell me when to exit this current trade that I'm in, which a lot of you guys are probably in if you watched the channel yesterday, okay? Support and resistance prices, I'm going to fly through this and we're going to go over the news, okay? Support and resistance prices, where are we going to head? The biggest structure is around 22, you know, 2 cents, 0 
0.2219. So call it 21 cents, 22 cents. This is again correlated very strongly to that um, um, psychology of a market cycle, 50% retracement. So I th I honestly think the best thing we can call in here is 23 cents. If we really pump up here, I would be looking to take profit about 23 cents. Okay, let's go through here two more here and we'll be done. Dollar cost average buys. This is a very good place. I would be watching for maybe a signal to come out here fairly soon. We didn't get one down here at the bottom, but I would just just watch to see what happens here in the next, I would say next week. Watch this very closely. And then be watching these exit points in here. I am also gonna be using this. So we've got about five metrics here that we have a very good grasp and hold on the market to tell us when we could exit. I am looking to exit this position. I don't think it's going to keep screaming up really, really fast. There's definitely going to be a pullback in here. So let me get over to what I promised you guys is the news and also give you the best entry for this. So let me fly over to the best entry for Dogecoin if you guys want to get in here. And then I will cover the news, which is very quirky. Um, <laughs> but but it's literally taking over the Google headlines today, like over the top six positions. It's, it's insane. Okay. Here is the best trade setup. You guys can honestly take for Dogecoin. Most likely when you guys come here and you watch this, this is going to be sitting above 18 cents because currently Dogecoin at the moment is sitting at about 18.9. So very close to 19 cents. So at eight o'clock when this updates, 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, hey, you guys got a sneak peek at that. So 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, this is going to be updating. You guys see that right here. It is going to push us above this level right here. So this level to give you guys full transparency is about 18 cents here. This is what I strongly um, suggest you guys look at. I can't say you should take this because I'm not a financial advisor, but what you can do if you have $1,000, for example, you want to enter Doge with, doesn't matter, 500, 2,000, 10,000. Some, some of you guys are trading with like, a ton of money, hundreds of thousands. You guys are emailing me. So if you guys want a great place to look to get in, you know, if we're sitting above here with the white dotted line at eight o'clock, your first buy limit can go here at the first yellow line, the second yellow line, third line, and fourth line. There's four buy limits with equal portions put into this trade. And this is where I am trading and I'm making a good, I'm, I'm making a, a decent amount on the trade, obviously that I just showed you guys, but my risk management is really good because we dollar cost average into these entries. So literally the best trade setups, 24 hours a day, anytime during the month. This is where you want to be on the front page of tradeconfident.io and go down to the live trades. Also, I have to give you a full explanation here. If you want to watch a video of how to trade this, watch this. It is very, very accurate and it goes very slow and it's detailed, but this is what I use to trade. Okay. I also give this to the hedge funds that I'm working with that I say, guys, if you want to enter the market, this is the best risk management that I can find right now. And it's working very well. Okay. Let's go over to the breaking news. Grooming products firm Axe releases limited edition crypto scent Doge body spray. I know this is this is quirky. This is crazy. We're going to the moon. Okay, I don't know if that's accurate. <laughs> I don't think we're going to the moon because Axe puts it out there, but I think it's funny. So I'm going to show that to you guys. Okay, thanks for the gift, Axe. So the reason why I, I point this out is not just to be like funny, but we actually really need to consider this because look at what's happening on the Google News today. Dogecoin News. The second, third, fourth, so the second, the fourth, and the fifth article, all by different people, Bitcoin News, Hyperbeast, and Fortune. Guys, Fortune is taking over with Axe. Like, this is crazy. The top, basically out of the one, two, three, four, five, the top five news, they have three positions. It's quirky, I know, but the thing is, is that this is gonna cause some talk in the community. People are gonna talk with their friends. Oh my gosh, you see Axe put Dogecoin on it? What this is gonna do, I don't, I'm not looking for this to like, you know, be like a, a prediction of are we going up or going down? But what this does tell me is this is gonna create conversations out there in the market, and this is what happens with Dogecoin. People start talking about it, they say, hey guys, Axe came out with this thing. You know, top top three out of five articles. We just pumped 18% yesterday. I got in at the bottom on this Trade Confident channel and we made 20%. You know, they're gonna start talking about this and this is gonna start getting people interested back into crypto. I can't tell you how many guys, when you start dropping out here, people lose interest and they stop talking about it with their friends because their friends don't wanna have to, they don't wanna tell to their friends, oh hey, crypto's going down. How much are you down? That's not a fun conversation to talk about of how much are you down in your portfolio, but people will start talking as we see pumps in here. So the overall trending, um, let's say v the verbal trend out there for Dogecoin, I think is starting to ramp up right now and that could help give more attention to Dogecoin and that is where you guys need to be watching this metric over here for the long versus short trades because that will correlate into more long trades being placed 
in the market. So extremely important you guys are following these metrics here and all of the exit points that I showed you because that's what I'm be using to look for an exit. Once I exit, what am I personally doing? I'm gonna go straight back to this chart right over here for the live trades and I'm gonna look to enter my next trade using this exact same philosophy as far as entering a trade. That's it guys. I hope you had a good one. Great job for all of you who got into these um, uh, this move here. If you guys want the trend exhaustion, the price versus the well money for the trend dashboard, these prices are going up in 10 days. Just going to be honest with you guys. I'm raising the prices all these. So if you want them now, go ahead and snag them, get them on your chart. You can um, have them on your trading view account today. Awesome guys. God bless you guys so much. Have an amazing, amazing Wednesday and I'll keep the videos coming. Congratulations for everybody who got into this trade yesterday. Well done. See you guys.